The Me Too movement has brought fresh scrutiny on the Monica Lewinsky, Lewinsky scandal, now more than two decades old. That means both the former president and Hillary Clinton have been put on the spot in interviews, and their answers are getting lots of attention. Hillary Clinton standing by her husband once again, disagreeing with those who say former President Bill Clinton should have stepped down from office following his affair with then White House intern Monica Lewinsky. Do you think Bill should have resigned in the wake of the Monica Lewinsky scandal? Absolutely not. It wasn't an abuse of power? No. The former Secretary of State answered questions about the scandal in an interview with CBS Sunday morning, while also taking aim at President Trump. There are people who look at the incidents of the 90s and they say a president of the United States cannot have a consensual relationship with an intern. The power imbalance is too great. Who was great. an adult. But let me ask you this. Where's the investigation of the current incumbent against whom numerous allegations have been made and which he dismisses, denies and ridicules? For some, the Me Too movement has changed perspective on her husband's sexual relationship with Lewinsky. I was patient zero of losing a personal reputation on a global scale almost instantaneously. Earlier this year, Lewinsky wrote an essay for Vanity Fair calling her relationship with President Clinton a gross abuse of power. In 1998, Clinton lied about the affair. I did not have sexual relations with that woman then later admitted to it. Indeed, I did have a relationship with Ms. Lewinsky that was not appropriate. Bill Clinton fought to stay in office, becoming only the second president ever to face impeachment. Last June, Craig Melvin asked Mr. Clinton if he would have handled the situation any differently today. Well, I don't think it would be an issue because people would be using the facts instead of the imagined facts. If the facts were the same today, I wouldn't. Do you feel like you owe her an apology? No, I do. I, I, I do not, I have never talked to her, but I did say publicly on more than one occasion that I was sorry. Guys, this is a good example of how the Me Too movement is making a lot of people step back and scrutinize not just this episode, but, but a lot of things that we've had scandals in the past. Yeah. But, but, but the Clintons are continuing, I mean, they're, they're standing by what, mm-hmm. they've, what they've always said about it. I, in, in a climate where there have been other powerful men in different industries that have lost their jobs over exactly this kind of behavior uh, and the society coming up and saying, you know what, we don't want this. This is sexual harassment and it might not be illegal. And she may have been an adult, but people wondering mm-hmm. whether that's an appropriate way for a workplace to sexual, function. Well, I was going to say sexual harassment in the workplace is generally among adults. Right. Mm-hmm. And yeah. the impact, yeah. the largest impact was on Monica Lewinsky, not on Bill Clinton. Stephanie Thank, Thank you. you.